MATD1534 and we're busy with the rational inequalities and this is example 2 um, so let us uh, see if we can solve it now okay so we are following the boundary points method we we're following that approach so what we do is we first write down our restrictions so I'm going to somehow write it here and here I have two restrictions ne? I have that x cannot be a negative 5 because we cannot divide by 0. And I also have that x cannot be negative 6. So these are my two restrictions. So I, I find I write it down immediately because then I will not forget it. And it is there for me. It's just there for me to write down. So now we change the sum and we say, listen. I know this is an inequality, but I'm just going to find the boundary points now. So the boundary points we find by just putting them equal to one another. And, that, and then the, this beca just becomes a normal uh, solution of, of, of fractions, so equations, so not inequalities. So minus 8 over x plus 6. Okay, because they're both negative, I can of course remove the negative so I can divide by a negative throughout so that will just go to positive and then I don't have to worry about the negatives and then I'm going to do my cross multiplication so 7 times x plus 6 and look now how easy this becomes is 8 times x plus 5 this just becomes linear now it's so easy actually so 7x plus 42 is 8x plus 40. Okay, and I think if I look at that, it looks like x is 2. Let me just check 7x plus 42, 8x plus 40, and then that will be x and that will be 2. So x is 2. So this is my boundary point. Okay, so then I go to my number line quickly just uh, do my number line here all right okay I think that's far enough and then I, I place on my boundary line all my uh, points so let's put the Okay, this is going to be negative 6. Let's indicate it in red because it's restricted. And this is negative 5. And that's restricted. And then 2. 2 we can indicate maybe more friendly. And, and this is equal to here. So I need to give the equal to Okay, so once again, I have the three regions here. I have uh, region 1, I have region 2, I have, ooh, I, I mean four regions. I have region 3, and I have region 4. Okay, now I just need to find uh, what, is, what is going on um, uh, in, in each region. Now what you can do sometimes, um, this can be difficult to now test because um, you need to, to work out this and see if it's less than that. So what I do is I do move it over. So I will, I will move it over and just see if it's then less than zero. So when I test, what I mean by that is, I will say when I'm going to test, I'm just going to move this over. So I'm going to say, okay, minus seven. But, but but it's not necessary, of course. It's just, it makes it easier for me. So then that will be plus 8. Because if I go over, it changes to plus 8. But then I will have less than equal to 0. So now I'm going to test in this one. So my false will be when it's, remember, less than equal to 0 means negative. Okay, so if my answer is negative, it's true. If my answer is positive, it's false. Okay, so once again, I just need to enter it 
and then I just uh, in my fraction mode on my calculator and then I, I just need to uh, to change the values so negative 7 I'm going to take negative 10 again negative 10 plus 5 there then I go to the other one plus fraction again and I get 8 over I, I, I used negative 10 so I must stick to negative 10 plus 6 that gives me the answer negative 0 comma uh, negative 0 never uh, negative 3 uh, fifths negative 3 fifths which is negative 0 comma 6 if I if I change it now negative 0 comma 6 is that now greater or less than minus 6 I mean if it is, is that now less than 0 of course it is because it's negative if it's negative my answer is true so this is true so let us uh, do this in green so this is going to be true because I now compare just my answer to negative or positive negative is true positive is false so my answer is negative it is true so now I go in here I'm going to choose negative 5 comma 5 so I go back with my little arrow there where I have the negative 10 I'm just going to enter negative 5 comma 5 I just need to see that I do it correctly this this time okay backspace there negative 5 comma 5 and then I go to the other fraction and there also I need to change it to negative 5.5 Okay, I hope this is correct I think so and that gives me 30 which is a positive so this is false okay yes nothing funny going on so I should actually now get true and false again but let us more rather check so yeah I'm gonna just do zero if I put in zero yeah I get negative 7 over 5 but let us not do it proper just for the example because I want you to be good in this. Remember, we did it actually um, when we did all these number lines and things. Zero plus five. Let me just see if I've got it correctly. I think so. Then I go to the other one and um, go backwards there. And I have zero again. So zero plus six. Let me just check. Zero plus five. Zero plus six. It's correct. I get a negative which is true so that's fine so let's just do another one let's somewhat take three now all right so let's just go back just for doing it proper um, three don't don't guess don't guess and get into trouble when you can check I put a three in I get a positive answer that is false I must get a negative answer so now I can just write my solutions so uh, all the true parts and I can nicely see where it is in where is it out okay so the true parts is then my remember now let's just put this again yeah this is negative infinity all the way here this is positive infinity all the way there so here is true so negative infinity all the way to negative six will be true but then None, none of those two will be included. And then I have another true between negative 5, which is not inclusive, and 2, which is inclusive. And then I'm done. That is the whole, the whole sum there. Very, very nicely done for a lot of marks and not really difficult.